A Kia Picanto with registration number GR163418 was involved in an accident at Adenta SDA in Accra. The car collided with a motorbike. Two men on the bike sustained various degrees of injuries. The driver of the car was not hurt, but the lady passenger got out limping. <laughs> Accidents have become rampant as becoming scary. We need functioning traffic lights. Authorities must come and act fast. Traffic lights, you know, you know, you the traffic lights have not been functioning for a year. We need the foot bridges to be fixed. I put the blame solely on the police because road traffic offenses, police are so all fight no preventing, over speeding, reckless driving. They don't do nothing, nothing, nothing. Residents have given the Ghana Highway Authority and the sector ministry up to November 12th to complete food bridges on the Medina Adenta Ebri Highway or risk a protest. An estimated 200 lives have been lost on the stretch through motor accidents. Food bridges at Medina Firestone, Zongo Junction, Adenta Assemblies or Main Construction, SDA Junction and the Adenta Barrier have been left uncompleted for years whilst pedestrians are knocked down on a daily basis. I'm standing at Adenta SDA Junction. A number of lives have been lost on this stretch due to road accidents. Residents are calling for a 24-hour police surveillance. Lilian Akrofibidi became a statistics of the Adenta death toll on November 2. She was crossing the road around the popular bar stop filling. She had left home at Sakura a few meters from the highway to buy a bunko in Tilapia for supper. Lilian met her untimely death at the hand of two vehicles. She was knocked down by one and the second a taxi ran her over, both drivers absconded. Fiancé of Lillian, Samson Gwedi Boafo, was with her when she met her untimely death that fateful day. It happened so fast. Samson wished he could turn back the time. When the second car ran her over, the driver stopped but got scared of the crowd and sped off. Samson and Lillian were known by both families and have been living together for some time now. He pours his heart out. For him, persons in authority do not feel the pain of families who have lost loved ones, hence their lackadaisical attitude, having the bridges fixed. I don't know what the authorities are doing about it. It has not affected them in any way. That's why nothing has been done about it. They have worried us. <laughs> An estimated 200 lives have been lost, with several others left with permanent disabilities. Six foot bridges on the Medina Denton Highway have been abandoned.
for close to 10 years. While the footbridges remain uncompleted, Ghana continues to lose citizens through knocked downs on a daily basis. Godfred was a security officer and breadwinner. He left home on Monday, September 10, but did not return. His youngest child, who is five, still asks about the whereabouts of his dad. Their mother has not been able to explain to the two other children that their father was knocked down by a vehicle whilst crossing the road. Janet says any time the children ask of their father, her explanation is simple. He has travelled and will return soon. <laughs> Janet, then unemployed, now works with her sister-in-law to brew pito for a living. She says she is struggling to cater for the needs of the children. Paying school fees, buying educational materials and feeding them is a problem. We have exhausted our rent. Hmm. For the family and many others, their only source of hope is for the uncompleted food bridges to be fixed to stop the needless deaths which occur on a daily basis. Julius Michael Okreku, 32, affectionately called Opolo, was knocked down by a speeding vehicle when crossing the road at Adenta SDA Junction on July 10. On the said date, Okreku visited his family house at Adenta Sakura and on his return, he met his untimely death. But how does one break the news of the death of a son to his mother? Initially, Marie Gold was told her son had fallen ill and rushed to the Legon Hospital. She could not put her thoughts together as to what really happened because she had seen her son all cheerful before he left. Was stated as she was, her sister mustered courage to break the news to her. Ifia, that was the name her son called her. Her son was very close to her and they did a lot of things together. Ifia described her son as quite stubborn yet playful. His memories linger on. My fond memories of him are a lot. There are times he comes home late and wants me to wake up because he's back. Other times he asks me for money and I decline but he still goes to buy food for us to enjoy. The mother of two now finds solace in the older and only son, Nicholas. Just when I was about to enjoy the fruits of my labor, he passed on. Marigold is calling for the completion of the abandoned and completed footbridges to prevent more deaths on the Medina Denton Highway.